Hello everybody, so I'm doing another video while I'm here in California and I was just trying to come up with ideas of what could I possibly film that is so different from being in California versus Toronto and then the idea kind of just came to me. I figured that I would talk about the few beauty products I have been using here in California that's been really kind of helping me to adapt. Not that it's that much different from Toronto, but I figured that I would just uh, share with you guys what I've been kind of using um, so far on this trip. So the first thing I'm going to start off is with skincare. So since it's a bit more humid here, I want to really kind of make sure that my face was really nicely um, exfoliated and moisturized. And I found some really, really amazing products from Lush. So if a lot of you guys don't know what Lush is, it's a homemade kind of like... Um, homemade cosmetics kind of a company where everything is organic and everything's as real as it can get. So the first thing I'm going to introduce, it's kind of their number one facial scrub and it's called Ocean Salt. It just looks like this. This stuff works pretty amazingly and it looks pretty funky. It's like this baby blue kind of consistency and it's really, really salty and it smells kind of like a combination of like it's really fresh, like alcohol, lemon kind of ordeal. So it says that we take the lime and the coconut and grapeseed and sea salt and mix them together in our stimulating fruity vodka based face scrub for a complexion that grows. So this is both for face and body, but I've just noticed that ever since using this product that, you know, it scrubs away all the dead skin cells and it just makes it so much more radiant. So I've been using that ever since I got here and it just really kind of help since I am getting a lot of sun exposure. And then of course after, you know, the washing exfoliating, you need a cream. So I have been breaking out quite a bit. Um, I think you guys have known, I have a history of kind of spontaneous breaking out. So I have found a cream that has completely helped it. It's called Vanishing Cream. It just looks like that. It is just a very simple like white cream. It doesn't really look like anything. And this smell, it's very interesting. It kind of smells very like herbally kind of. And this one says for acne prone, oily and T-zone problem skin, a light easily absorbed cream with minimal oil content laden with rose, lavender and witch hazel. So this stuff works so well. I'm almost done and I'm probably gonna need to get another pot. So these two in combination is what I use for my face care. So to, after I moisturize and wash, I'm going to go into face products. So because I'm getting a lot of sun here, I'm getting really, really bronzed. So I don't want to really pack on anything too heavy while I'm here. So after I put on my concealer, what I do is I use my mineralized skin finish in medium dark. And it looks really, really natural. It hardly shows up on camera because it's just so, so natural. And it's just so perfect because it's very light. It's very airy, kind of a powder. So just with a round top kabuki, I just kind of go over my eyes um, after I use the concealer. And I just use that for the eyes. What I actually use for all over face is my mineralized SPF 15 loose foundation. And I have it in the color medium deep. You guys might have seen these um, from the MAC warehouse sales. These were the charity packs and it actually came inside. So you unscrew it and it looks like a little stamper. It has a sponge applicator and then the product is all in the bottom. So what I do is I flip this upside down, tap off the excess and kind of pat it into certain areas of my face and then I just blend it out with a face brush. So it just gives me that nice kind of blended look while I'm still tanning here in California, but it just it's really light and it's not so much powder. And as for eyes, um, lately I have finally got to try my best friend's Urban Naked, De uh, Urban Decay Naked Palette. And so I've been really deliberating if I should be getting this palette or not, just because I have so many other palettes at home and I figured there must not be that much of a difference. So she has the first generation one where it comes with the double end 24-7 um, eyeliner. It's probably one of the best palettes I've ever tried. It is what I'm wearing on my eyes right now and I just love the color payoff, it's staying power, the blending properties, it is like velvet on your eyes. So this palette um, I got to play with because um, my best friend has it and I'm very very tempted to go back to Toronto with one since they are full in stock in uh, the states because in Canada 
that palette is completely sold out. But because I'm out here, I'm not really focusing too much on eyeshadow. I'm kind of just looking nice for the video, but my biggest concern is mascara because I don't really hold my curl. So what I found is a perfect combination. I featured both of these in previous um, favorite videos. Um, so the first one is the Maybelline Extra Extra Large Pro Curl. And it just looks like this and I have it in the waterproof formula so it comes with a primer which does have fibers in it so it does a really really good job of extending and then the second side is just your standard black mascara so I do do this um, step one and step two first and then I actually go over it with my Maybelline falsies and it does a really good job of separating my eyelashes, giving it a lot of volume and really pushing it up. So this has been actually my favorite combination in mascara. So the last thing I kind of want to share while I'm here is my hair. So because it's been very humid and if you guys haven't noticed, I did do um, a flat iron curling, but from my previous video, I got a perm done. I got a Japanese digital perm and my hair did not take the product. I actually got the perm done twice and it just completely, completely destroyed my hair. And so what I've been using, um, I've been using here is the Chi 44 Iron Guard. So it's kind of just like a thermal protecting spray and this stuff works really, really well. You still can kind of tassel with it. It's very, very soft in the hair and I just feel it does a really good job of protecting against heat. So when I'm doing heating products or even when I'm stepping out into the sun, I've actually been spraying a little bit of this into my hair. And a hairspray that I've been using because I have a lot of flyaway hair and for hairdos like I have right now, I've been using my best friend's Aussie Opposites Attract hairspray. This stuff smells really, really good actually. Um, kind of smells like grape juice. I don't know. It just, it smells really good, but I love how even after I spray it, it just, it still feels really soft. Like it doesn't have that, that stiff, crunchy kind of a feeling. Like it just, I don't know. This stuff really, really works. So that's all the products that I've been pretty much using on a day-to-day -day basis. So if you guys have any questions, just feel free to leave me a comment below and I will see you guys at the next video. Take it easy.